Hi, I'm Bran. I love Hallmark sailing movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark sailing movies. Ahoy! <laughs> I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark sailing movies, and this, this is, is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast. Pirates no, life no, for no. me. I thought you were singing "Hail to the Chief." <laughs> <laughs> Just think about this: like a, a "Hail to the Chief," "Pirates Life for Me" mashup, and then rounds. Yeah, I love rounds. <laughs> You love them, you just can't say I just can't, can't do, do them. them. <laughs> Guys, yeah. um, it's really great to be here with you. Wow. Um, I believe it's officially June. What? what? Can you believe that? Man. You're just saying things. I'm not. I feel like I'm ready for a bunch of June weddings. You should be. I am especially ready for Christmas in July. Oh, I can't even. June 30th? I can't, yeah, uh, uh, the, uh, technically, I think it's June 24th on the Movies and Good Mysteries Gosh. channel. gosh. It's just the way they do things. Yeah. How many new Christmas movies are they releasing? Just one. For July? It? Yeah. Just, just one. one. Okay. As right. of now, I believe. Yeah. Boy, but the question, anything fun for Christmas in July this year? Oh. Guys, just hold your horse. It, wow. it is going to be wild. Um, but yeah, I, 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 the one question I don't have the answer to is whether or not that one movie in July uh, makes up the 40. that 40. I, I don't, don't know. They haven't been very clear. I, I, I thought it's it not did. a part of the countdown to Christmas. So it's not part of the 40? Yeah, the 40 is the countdown. So it's a bold move for them to go ahead and insert one into July. Mm-hmm. That's I believe, I, my, my gut says that it is a part of that number. How many years do we have to do this before we're starting to watch the preview shows? What are preview shows? Every season they do a preview show. Oh, 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 oh. I, did, oh, I, I, watched, I watched the Christmas one last year. Yeah, I did wow. too. I wanted to be ready. It was fun. God bless you. Guys. I take my job seriously. Uh, I do too. Did, we went through every... Show beforehand, and we picked our top ones though from last year. You remember? We, yeah, remember we had a show. preview show. That's which <laughs> everybody it was, it was tuned pretty in much for. The best. Yeah. Hey guys, a couple of things that we would love, mm, love, 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 love for love? you guys to do. Uh, Panda, what are what are your thoughts when I say I, you say love tunes? Uh, we're. <laughs> Love tunes. <laughs> we were looking. Tunes. We were looking for iTunes. Uh, leave us a review on the oh, iTunes, do. the Apple Podcast. I believe oh. is they're being rebranded officially. Yes. I don't know. Uh, go leave us a review. Panda, tell them what they'll win. You know what? You can win a gigantic <laughs> Kringle the size of a horseshoe. A horseshoe. Yeah. So a, a smaller, than, a smaller than, than normal, normal standard Kringle. size Kringle. Uh, actually, smaller win. because our, the Kringles. Yeah, are and you'll actually have to buy it. But wow, so that's an interesting reason to leave. I tell you what, leave a review, Dan. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna give him some fancy shoes. Tell him about the fancy <laughs> shoes. <laughs> tell him all about it, Dan. Oh, they glitter, they glisten, and they're just yours. That's fancy. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> A couple of other things that we would love for you to do. Find us on the socials at Hallmark Podcast. The socials. The socials. We do a lot of fun things. Yeah, we do. Uh, our goal right now, we're trying to get to, to 10,000 Instagram, Instagram followers. Instagram followers. Because once we do that, we can spam you better on the stories because you can link. <laughs> That's, That's oh. true. You can, you can once you, so if once you, you get your access spam to us, for us, It's go good spam, us? though. It's like fun fun things. Like yeah. well, We could link you to uh, to Kringlefest 2019. Yep. Ooh. That's mm, true. That's going to be a big day. Yep. Direct that, access to direct it. access to Kringle Fest twenty nineteen. Just have to swipe up, Dan. Just have to swipe, swipe up. up. Wow. So if you want to, uh, if you want us to be able to say more things about swiping up, give us a ten thousand go to uh, at Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. If you're listening um, and you're not on the Instagram, and then hey, I mean, here's the thing. Yeah, you can check us our new website. Oh my gosh, deckthehallmark.com. Deckthehallmark.com. That'll take you there. But guess what? Also, uh, HallmarkChannelPodcast.com. dot com. We'll take you there. Take you there. Hallmark Podcast. Just will take type you there. in things. Chances are we bought that you domain. Will probably we probably go straight to our website. We Good love for the, us. We love domains. And if you and love if you, domains and websites yeah. as much as us, you may as well join the Patreon. That's exactly right. If you want to help us be able to buy more <laughs> domains, yeah, that we shouldn't buy. You go to a domain that we don't. Oh, oh, but we use patreon.com slash deck the hallmark. Yes. And for as little as $5, a Lincoln, you can join the deck, the hallmark Patreon account. And you're going to get access to a Facebook group where we talk about all kinds of fun stuff. And you hobnob with celebs like <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know if you know this or not, but I have a uh, graduation speech with a million and a half views. You do. You do. 
It doesn't have a million and a half. No, Not even close. Um, oh, Chris Palaha, Alonzo Duralde, all a part of the. Do they get the fancy Facebook shoes group. for the five dollars? They do not get fa- the okay. fancy shoes. Cost way more than five dollars. Candle Randington <laughs> just joined, and Candle will light up your life. Yes. So join he the Patreon. Will. Patreon.com. Will. They, will. Will. They, will. they will. They will. The shoes um, are from Copenhagen. Yeah. Copenhagen. Yeah, they're the wooden shoes. So if we had some extra tiers to the old Patreon, would you shoes? Yeah, fancy absolutely. Shoes? Yeah, the hundred dollar a month. Hundred dollar, you get mm, fancy shoes, fancy shoes. designed right. by us. I feel we're off to a really good start. Um, <laughs> hey guys, uh, today we're talking about a uh, sailing, sailing into love. Away. Come sail away, come sail away, sail away, sail away with me. me. Ah. Um, if if Sticks was going to have a biopic like Bohemian Rhapsody or Rocket Man, what would it be called? River Sticks. <laughs> There's uh, no question about it. There's no question about that. Sailing into Love originally aired May 19, 2019, and it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with Claire bumping into Tom, a fisherman who spills fish water all over her. In the process, she drops her field book. With a bunch of important information in it, apparently. She also is apparently very popular because she's in about a thousand weddings in a week. Uh, Claire is a biology teacher of sorts who has a field trip planned to uh, the island, Blue Island, I believe, That's for cool. her students. Guess who's leading the trip? Tom! Claire and Tom don't really get along early on, and uh, they're 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 fighting, they're bickering. But give it about thirty minutes, it'll, things will change. Uh, they go to this island, and Claire has been going to this island for years. But the island might be sold. She finds out that her ex boyfriend is the one who is looking to build a resort on the island like a monster. So Tom is clearly into Claire, but she is clearly still kind of into her ex. But once she bumps into him at a wedding with another girl, she quickly is like, Kate, don't need you anymore. Get out. Uh, There's an offer on the table um, uh, for the island and the resort. And Claire's really upset about it. And she goes uh, out into the out to the water. (laughs) And Tom <laughs> offers to take her out, to take her to the to the Blue Island. Um, so they go sailing. And so love! <laughs> he lets her steer the boat, which makes for a perfect opportunity to hold hands. Uh, but she gets upset with him when he doesn't seem to care nearly as much as she does about the island, because he's a human. Uh, some joker falls overboard, which uh, some, <laughs> which ends up with somehow Tom being on top of Claire. Don't ask any questions. It's above board. Trust me. Uh, Claire's ex-boyfriend, Tom. Board, uh, uh, what? Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Claire's ex-boyfriend gives Tom the hard pitch about why the resort would be good timing for his sailing company and that he'd make a boatload of cash. Uh. (laughs) So he's in a real pickle. What is he going to do? He likes Claire, but he also likes money. Uh, Claire finds out that the ex-boyfriend works for the resort company and uh, and, and she's mad about it. Apparently she didn't know at this point. Uh, She spills the beans that Tom isn't uh, uh, he uh, spills the beans to her that Tom isn't opposed to the resort deal and now she's mad and sad. So Claire is at another wedding and she invited Tom to join her as a date for that wedding and she's given him the cold shoulder but Tom tells her that he turned down the offer to take people's places like a captain does uh but but so they they join forces to save the island and it ends in a romantic dinner on a boat uh to chat about past loves and a big old kiss so the final town hall happens and claire is getting ready to share with the city hall why they shouldn't uh build on the island but tom is nowhere to be found suddenly he comes in marching in with a bunch of people supporting don't build on the island so the mil- the, the the meeting goes great and afterwards ex-boyfriend Ask Claire if uh, she'd want to go out on a date with him uh, to to another wedding. And that, if the resort uh, gets passed, he's going to be sticking around in town. So hopefully they can keep hanging out. Tom overhears it because he's always there and uh and like listen i i don't i don't want to get in the way if that's who she wants to be with but then she's like he's like no you know what i'm the man for her her so the wedding happens <laughs> And who's 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 she looking at when people were walking down the aisle and whatnot? Tom, because she's in love. After the wedding, she finds out that um, 
that uh, the, the board is going to postpone selling the island. Ex-boyfriend says no hard feelings, and you clearly want the captain, so go be with him. <laughs> so he walks off, and uh, Tom walks up, and is like, I, don't be with him. I want to be with you. I love you, and I'm a captain. They celebrate the win, and they kiss, and now, my friends, was sailing into, into love. love. Boy, mm. we did it. Wow. Woo. Man. Woo, woo, woo. Mm. Boats. That movie was about it was, it was on par with your synopsis thank you <laughs> wait <laughs> eh. take it as you will yeah i, I thought will. your synopsis was solid yeah the pronouns are just yeah it was tough there was there, a lot. There, it's, i it's think you said herm and there's no, <laughs> there's no m in, in herm edwards his or her. you also it's, said shoulder and you said shoulder shoulder <laughs> yeah he's yeah, the bourbon pecan <laughs> kringle is cash, cash. money kringle.com mm. Uh, so listen, it is a four segment show. We always start with the hot, with take. The hot take hot because take. we like to share how we felt about this movie. And I always start For those with of you just joining us on episode 85 or whatever. it is. Pe- people find things at different times. Yeah. Oh, if no. they did, that's great. Wonderful. You don't have to listen to the old ones. Just join right now. Please listen. Um, I always start with my friend Panda Panda. Hi. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, so good. Listen, this movie is a weird one. Uh, I do not like the lead character. Um, girl, I, girl, okay. sure. Okay. Uh, it, for whatever reason, just didn't, she didn't sell me. That uh, captain though. Captain's okay. <laughs> captain, my captain. Captain, my captain. I thought for sure they're going to do that too. A dead poet society reference. It would yeah. have been great. Walt Whitman and dead poet society. Go ahead. <laughs> Don't Walt Whitman me. Dan. Okay. All right. Breaking uh, bad. <sighs> Guys, it anyway. was a joke. It was a joke. Keep whatever. Going, man. Moving on. So here's the deal. <laughs> the movie's Okay. I love the scenery. Scenery's great. The, the plot, there's a lot of sailing. People tip over a lot in this movie. I just, I mean, everyone's had one too down. many bourbon, pecan, yeah. kringle. Am I right? People do tip over a lot. I mean, the there's a lot of people falling over in this yeah. movie. It's a weird one. I'm worried I, about the homeostasis of the people in the movie. I, I am too. Inner yeah. ear problems abound. Yes. Yeah. And I, I got to be honest with you, maybe it's just me. I didn't think the resort's such a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I would. I, I love a good resort. Yeah, I do too. I love a good I resort. And Blue Island's a great name for a resort. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I would have gone. I I will never go to an uninhabited island yeah. just because that's not my thing. Yeah. But if you put a resort there, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay, go. okay. Yeah. Does that make me a bad person? No, it makes you a great person. Okay. All I could think about while I was watching this movie was how excited I am for Christmas in July. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm so over the not Christmas. <laughs> just ready for Christmas. Uh, this movie was fine. Uh, lots of sailing, lots of captains, <laughs> lots of weddings. Apparently, uh, if you look up this movie, uh, the alternate title, I believe the Canadian title is Five Weddings. It's just called June. Five Weddings? It's called Five Weddings in June or something. Okay. Five Weddings in May. That makes sense. But didn't she only go to three? Yes. So maybe they and cut out a couple. The one at the end. Maybe they, oh. They but there's still one short. Year. Yeah, still one short. Either still one way. short. Still confused. Uh, either way, uh, just a fine movie for Brand. I didn't hate it, didn't love it, um, and I'm just really ready for Christmas. I love the and boats. July. Mm. The boats were great. Ahoy, gentlemen. Ahoy. <laughs> Over under 30 uses of ahoy in this particular film. It's a bunch. Ahoy. ahoy. Um, this movie made me want to sail into a hurricane. <laughs> um, and it's... Guys, this movie's terrible. It is... I, like just as a precursor, like we get to interview a lot of people from Hallmark and that really weighs on my soul when I talk about these movies, because everyone we talk to from Hallmark is great. This movie is a piece of garbage. It is terrible. <laughs> it is awful. I cannot tell you how bad this movie is with mere words. It, it will not do it justice. Um, the best thing I could say about this movie is so is you that, wrote a song. I did not. <laughs> the best thing I can say about this movie is is they they seem to purchase several songs for the soundtrack. Yes, like every song in the movie was not a like fake yeah, Hallmark it's a real song. one. Yeah. In fact, the opening song and montage was so long. Like normally, it's like fifteen twenty seconds. They get right into plot. Mm-hmm. It was so long that I was like, oh no, they don't have enough narrative for eighty four minutes. Like it's two. It's a three minute like. The opening thing is a full length song. Like yeah, I, it is. I shazammed it. I just googled it, but I'm going to say shazammed it. Shazam. Um, Shazam. It's bad, and at the bottom of the bad is the Jason character. This man is the worst actor on the planet. Jason, if you play Jason, and you're listening. I'm really sorry. Maybe you're better than than I I wow. I, I thought. 
I, the guy that played Jason was awful. He was terrible. No, Jason was awful. The guy who played no, no, no. Jason. That's the thing. Is not awful. Is the, the character itself is supposed to be classic Hallmark bad. The acting is just standard. Your standard bad. Oh, what makes it bad? I, I thought it was okay. I thought he was fine. Really? Yeah. Dude, I, I'm just telling you right now. He was standard bad guy bad. No, I thought he was just bad. I, I did not think he Can was Can I a ask you a question? Yeah. Are you ready for Christmas in July? I am very ready for Christmas. See, the Christmas <laughs> movies are great. I am just, let me have some mistletoe promise. Nice. <laughs> Give me some Christmas under wraps. Yes. Throw me a very merry mix up for crying so out loud. So you would toss out that there wasn't a Christmas movie we saw this past year that was as bad as this film. Christmas in Graceland is the only thing that's close. And um, you, I, I think. No, I there were some bad Christmas, Christmas movies. There were, but not as bad as this. Christmas for the books. This was worse than Christmas for the books. Wow. I really, but, but like uh, last, so many last v- Vermont Christmas worse. This is worse. No, this is worse. No, nope. it's nope. worse. Nope. And you said you like the scenery. What in blue blazes are you talking about? Well, that brings us to the, all the feels segment I where I share feels. about my feels and I'll tell you the one feel I got <laughs> was the fact that they apparently bought a drone. <laughs> <laughs> really great boat shots. Yeah. Very nice boat With shots. With a boat sailing on some man-made lake somewhere? Stop it. Stop it. It's not the ocean. Well, where it doesn't matter what it is. Just tell me where they are. Okay. I they're would... in the Blue Island. Where, there's no blue in the entire movie. The, the north, they're in the northeast. <laughs> they're clearly in the northeast region, like off Maine. Off Maine. Off Maine in the ocean? Yeah. Off Maine. In one of the Great Lakes in Maine. It's that's an clearly ocean. A, that's on not an, an ocean. ocean. There's not a single tide or wave in the film. There's not even a beach. It's just a lake. I've had it. <laughs> All I have to say is I really like the drone you, shots. You didn't even think about it. You thought they were on the ocean. They're not. I didn't think they were on the ocean. Uh, that's the thing. No, is, I was convinced no, they were on the they, ocean. They, here's the thing is, Pandolf and the people that make the movie, I believe, wrote it for them to be on the ocean. And they're on some dock at a lake somewhere. <laughs> what, are your all the, what are your all the feels, Panda? Is it the scenery still? Guys... <laughs> Go to Blue My Island. My world just got rocked. There's not a lot of times on this podcast where it's just like, I feel like I'm a Shyamalan on this. You're right. There's not a wave. There's not a one to be found. Holy smokes. It's not choppy at all. Smooth sailing. <laughs> Literally smooth sailing. Guys, they might have been on a lake. Yeah, or a pond. Or maybe just, <laughs> they found some joker in Toronto who had like a, you know. I feel, I feel had. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been shazammed. Yeah. Uh, Shazam. Uh, I I think the marriage scene at the end, I was going to say the scenery. I can't. Here's why the scenery was good to use, because there was real water and a real boat. They were actually on it. Using drone drone there were mountains. <laughs> mountains. There now mountains. that I pointed out, the mountains should have been a dead giveaway. There were, <laughs> how did I not see that? I don't remember the mountains. There, there are were, there are places in the world where oceans and mountains aren't. But, but they were. But not in the U.S. No. But where did they, they, they said they were in a town, but they didn't. Ever say where t- that town Blue was? Blue Town. Blue Island. Blue Man. No, there was a Pacifica paddling company. So Pacific, Pacific was- Ocean? You think they were in... So the- we're not in Maine. We're in Washington. We're you, in Washington. You don't even State. know what movie you oh, watched. No. no, they had... Guys, this movie's all over the place, isn't or, it? Or, hear me out, it sucks. It's a bad movie. Guys, I initially said I was on board with this movie. <laughs> this is one of the rare times I flip flop. Yeah. It's not a good movie. Panda <laughs> Overboard. Panda <laughs> Overboard. Oh my gosh, Dan! Um, all Dan the feels. What? All the feels. My bad. That was the segment. <laughs> um, I, you know what's crazy about this movie? I don't have a single scene, but it's the movie's terrible. If I've not said it enough, the poor people that are listening to this movie that made it. Hopefully, maybe they know it's bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Um, scripting bad, acting bad, everything bad. But for some reason, and I don't know why this is, I I re- like more than usual. I wanted the two to get together. I don't know why that was. Really? I don't know. I don't understand why. I can't explain it. It doesn't make any sense. But there was something, maybe, I was going to say there was something satisfactory about them getting together at the end, but the reality was it probably was just the movie was over. (laughs) And I was just like, I I have a lot of feels for not having to watch this anymore. (laughs) You know what I've appreciated recently? What's that? It seems as if uh, Hallmark's moving away from waiting until the end for a kiss. Yeah, we've been yeah, getting yeah, more and really more. Yeah. We've been getting more and more like hour-ish kisses. I, I, I can like. I, I? I want to toss out this real quick. I have one feel. I, I just I do want to go back real quick. You don't have all the feels. No, one no. Feel. Well, the one feel I think that was good. when he shows up one. in the, the official captain's uniform at the end. I was like, 
Yeah, you go, man. Yeah. Like, he, he looked you, good. You like, own he, that. he looked solid. And I was like... I'm glad he looks good, because he's a straight Hitchcock stalker, right. but we'll get to that in the what's the, what the what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, wait, what is next? But before we do, I just got a text from our producer, Tony. And Tony! Tony. <laughs> and hey, Tony, Tony, is this right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tony! <laughs> you say it. Tony! All right, we... We're pushing buttons. Yeah, we're... Tony! <laughs> Thank you, Tony. I don't need you anymore, bud. I just want to make sure this is right. Because I don't understand. Give it away, Tony. Right. <laughs> Wait, does Tony talk in the third person? I think the thing with Tony is, and this is why we got him so cheap, is that if you say his name, he he then says this his name. His back. And that's what's that's what's tough is you you try to just say your producer because yeah. if not, he thinks it's his time, <laughs> his time to shine. All right, Tony. Thank you, Tony. All right. So we have been sponsored, and you guys will understand why I had to ask uh, producer why if this is correct. We're sponsored by Rice Krispie Creeps. <laughs> Are you sure that's not Rice Krispie Crepes? It is. It's <laughs> Rice Krispie Crepes. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Tony. Okay, so Tony, while you're here, uh, tell us about how you kind of got the sponsorship. Big Who's crepes, right? big call, Tony. <laughs> All right, thanks, though. Uh, go to Rice Krispie Crepes, spelled Rice Krispie Creeps, dot org. Dot org, Tony. Slash deck. Put in the promo code HALL. HALL. Two L's. HALL. HALL. And you will get one free crepe with the purchase of 10 crepes. That's right. It's a buy 10, get one. It's a situation. buy 10, get one. That's not bad. Uh, no, so, no, no. Solid uh, crepes. Rice Krispie Creeps. Dot com slash deck promo code hall promo code hall that's the key man what a big sponsor there. thanks tone tony <laughs> all right uh it's time for the wait what part of the show the part of the show where we talk about one this movie made us go wait what? wait what um i'll start us off does she only do field trips yes <laughs> no i i think the better question is is what who does she teach <laughs> yeah Okay, so lots of questions about her as just a te- as like a teacher. Blue Island 101. We never see her in the classroom. Ever. No. Does she teach high school kids? Because sometimes the kids looked like they were high school kids, and other times they looked like they were 25. Yes. Yeah. Just do they only do field trips? Or is her deal she just is the field trip person? I don't I, know. I was very confused it's by It's a that. summer immersion program. It was, at, like, it was a stretch to call her a teacher in any capacity. Well, she got all these weddings too. It was in May, wasn't it? So classes in session in May. I don't know, man. Well, I, like just all I wrote down was, does she only she do field a trips? Gap year? Maybe that would make more sense. She teaches a gap year. <laughs> hey, we're going to yeah. we're going on. We're going to call it education. <laughs> <laughs> it's Blue Island. Where's the blue? I don't know. Same place the ocean is. <laughs> Gap year programs are great. Yeah, they're wonderful. Go to your uh, local gap year program and uh, give them a donation. Uh, <laughs> See if they can spell it. <laughs> The, uh, okay, I'll do this one. Oh, the, at the very first wedding, the bride and groom were very close during their vows. They were they like, were, they were really like, holding hands. Was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was very close. They were um, in. she wants to save the island, but doesn't have any problem wasting a bunch of paper, handing out flyers that people will throw away. Can we camp out on the flyer just for <laughs> sure. a second? First of all, it's full color. It's a yeah. full, full color on her home, gold. her home printer. Yeah. yeah. So she just has a stock at a printer <laughs> cartridge company somewhere. Yeah. Um, but my favorite part of the flyer is, is that it says, Save Blue Island. Did you read it? Oh, no, I didn't read it. It says Friday, comma, space, space, 18th. <laughs> yes. They never put a month in. You'll no. know it. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't know what month the movie was going to air. So they put the so 18th. So they put Friday, Friday, not the 18th, Friday, comma, blank, 18th. 18th. <laughs> just so I, I was i was just uh distraught that they wouldn't go like with a facebook uh, uh event electronic. page or something the problem is their phones there is all they're all taken up by the giant font of the text they have no room for their facebook. <laughs> and and last but not least i only need to say two words ukulele band i loved it ukulele band <laughs> it was pretty it was something uh, ukulele band. <laughs> All right. I will leave you with that. Mm. Ukulele oh, man. Band. Panda? Uh, first of all, I just want to point out it's summertime and everyone's wearing clothes not fit for summer. Oh, they, it is it, clearly brisk outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People like should be dying of heat stroke with That's what right. they're wearing. They're That's wearing right. heavy coats. They're, I mean, it's just ridiculous. They're trying to drop a weight class for the next wrestling event. <laughs> 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 I, like, it, it's, it's absurd. It, it's, You're 100% right. 
People say weird things in this movie. Oh, do uh, they? I, I want to point out that one of them is that as they're walking on the island and uh, Claire is giving the instructions for their project, and the project needs to be sound and scientific were just her outlines That's for the it. project. Here's your science and stuff, kids. It's clearly a gap here. <laughs> it's clearly sound and scientific. <laughs> Where's the rubric, Miss such and such? Well, I got a rubric for you. Sound, scientific. <laughs> 50% sound, 50% scientific. All proficiency. <laughs> All proficient. And then You'll the- get the rubric when we go to Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to LA. Well that, worth it. I tell you, they're not going by ocean. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> oh. Uh, The dad says a couple weird things. He says at one point, she knew she would have done everything in her power to try to stop it. Yeah. She knew. It it doesn't make any sense grammatically. Mm. And then finally, the last thing, and I want you guys to try to help me understand this legitimately. They're having a nice fancy dinner, uh, sing on the boat, and uh, she says, you made this? He goes, I didn't make it, but I did order it from a very long list. (laughs) What? So you think he made a list of all the foods that he thought would be good for a romantic dinner, and then he narrowed it down and ordered it from that list? I It could be a lot of things. Did the that restaurant is, he ordered from just have a long list? Maybe it was a giant menu, and he calls menus lists. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to order? Just send me the list. <laughs> Look, he's <laughs> used, send me a list. He's used to being on Hard the choppy, copy only. choppy seas, the ocean out there. He doesn't know. The amount of danger that man has faced yeah. as a, a, a salty sailor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The captain, as they call him. The captain. They also say, and this may be just normal and I've never heard it. Um, I didn't know that it might be on the sail block. Did you hear that? I don't know what. Can like you use she's it? at you the county councilman's sentence? office and she's like, oh, I've been oh, taking oh, my oh. kids to, to uh, I've heard the trading block and I've heard the block. She's like, and I didn't even know it might be on the sail block. And I'm I, sure that's a I, thing. I didn't. I've never heard that before. I Googled it. It's not, it's not a thing. Okay. I didn't think it was. Um, so there's that. Um, so I've got a few questions, uh, about the film. Um, first of all, whatever Claire is, she's not prepared to do it. (laughs) I I don't know if it's, if it's teacher, if it's liaison, if it's tour guide, if it's gap year organizer, I don't know what it is, but she's woefully underprepared. She had no idea that the guy that's been taking her on the tours was not going to do it this year. Yeah. That is vital information that you would, for your everyday life, Lori Beth, you would have emailed him to confirm numerous times. Not her. No, no, no. She's also unprepared that, like, if Tom's going to be a good fit as a captain, she's very worried about the schedule with snacks, which I don't understand. Like, All right, schedule. Yeah, like, we've got snacks. I don't know if that fits in the schedule. You didn't even know who was going to be captaining your boat across the pond. Like, you didn't even know that. Like, Ocean. how do you care about... And then, Imagine being in that class and you hear out of the corner of your, your ear, uh, hey, snacks are coming up. No time. No, no, no. Wait, what? What? <laughs> We're literally Wait, going no to be snacks? sailing. We don't do any of the work. We're just going to sit there. No Can't eat snacks. <laughs> Can't do it. No time. And then Tom's like, we've prepared snacks for you. What went into that? Well, he was cutting was up list. the apples. It so was, he's, he prepared them. It was, it, it was from the list. list. <laughs> it was a long um, list. You'd Tom, know it if you saw it. Tom's a stalker. He tries to listen to every conversation Claire has with everyone else. He takes her book, le- takes looks through it. <laughs> he just is a stalker. There's no other way to say it. Like, he's leaning against cars. It's getting pretty awful. How you doing, buddy? We get, we get doing vows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I also have a question about this town's particular governmental setup. Because if I'm to understand this right, the town hall, the 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 city hall, yes. the city councilman's office is also the place where you get fishing licenses. Yes. And I do not understand for the life of me how all of that fits in one building. Like that's not a very thing. small town. Very small town. Must be. I, I just it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um at one point she goes, something tells me he's gonna be harder to manage than my students. He's the captain. <laughs> You're not going to manage the captain. It's not your job to manage the captain. But it is her captain. Your job is to manage the students. Of course he's going to be harder to manage than the students. Um, It's weird that she gets her dress altered and never tries it on, neither here nor there. Um, And uh, also, once again, this guy's a creeper. No one knows him. He's showing up for weddings. No one knows him. I don't, I don't, I can't. And I'll say this again. I, 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 I would never. If I don't know you very well, I am not coming to your wedding. But that's I'm how not. you get to know people. 
I don't want to get to know. Said. I don't want to get to know anybody else. No, I know just enough people to get by in my life. Wow, man, I know you guys. Well, yeah, that's enough. I know you guys. Well, I, and I agree with that. Thank you for being Why, a friend. Who else would I ever need to meet? Mm. Sub to you, Jimmy Fallon, Tony. <laughs> It's time for the last segment of the show. It's called What the Hallmarked part of the show where we wonder what could have been, maybe what happened after those credits that would give us some answers to the questions that we still might have. And I think the obvious one is the sale was not canceled. The sale was not put to death. It was postponed. It was postponed. Indefinitely. What does that mean? That means it's never coming back. Really? Most of the time, if it's postponed indefinitely, that means it's just not going to be a thing. I didn't hear indefinitely. Yes, you did. I only heard postponed. Indefinitely. He did pause between the two words. Really? So if you were guffawing, you would have missed it. I missed it. Mm. <laughs> I think it could still come back. Okay. Good still, still by what the hallmark. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, should be. My Don't what- it. <laughs> Don't it. <laughs> hey, My what the hallmark is, I, I want to know more about how lucrative the fishing industry is Mm. because her dad lives in a great home for being a fisherman. He does. I understood that it was- Especially a a freshwater fisherman. A freshwater fisherman. (laughs) Those lake fishermen are really making the money these days. Some good bass. (laughs) Mm, Some brim. (laughs) Carp. 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 <laughs> uh, I just, that home's great. Yeah, that, and like, I it just, well, didn't the mom, know that money the was mom there. mom did pass away. I'd like to know, I, I would like to know a little bit about that backstory. Maybe you got some insurance money from that. that Life terrible. insurance money. Maybe it's going to be on the next Murder of Mysteries. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, that turned a dark twist. Come yeah, on. She died murdered? I, I don't know. I'm just saying. Insurance money? How? What would the name of that movie be? Mm. Sail then to what, Like money. fish in a barrel. <laughs> I do what I can, guys. I don't know what you asked for me. Uh, are you, you, got, you got any more? Is that it? I want to know a lot more about Willow Bay, this town. Like, I want to know. That's the, the name, name of the, of the town? town? Willow Bay. Good. Yeah. So we're on. We're up to a good start. First of all, I want to know where it is because it's not on the ocean. Yeah. We've already established that. Second of all, I want to know how Blue Island came to be owned by Willow Bay, the town, not the state. The town owns the island. And then third, I want to know what kind of financial shape the town is in. It seems like everyone's doing great. If the town is struggling financially, then it is, in fact, a no-brainer to sell for the resort. Right? Yes. yes. Struggling financially. Sure. If it's not struggling financially, why are they going through all these links to begin with? But more importantly, if it's not in the ocean, why are people going to flock to a resort in wherever it's located? I just have a lot of questions about Willow Bay in general. And then lastly, before Claire is going to speak to the board, she keeps looking back to see if the captain's coming and he could have easily texted and it takes him forever. And he keeps looking back. At one point she looks back and there are two people at the back of the room and they give her a thumbs up. We've never seen these people before, now, correct? I don't think we've seen either one of them the whole movie. Maybe they're her students, but they look too old to be her students. And they're giving her like never a, full, stopped them before. a full <laughs> thumbs up like, you got this, Claire. I just want to know more about them. Are they together? Is it what? what what's that story? Now, Dan, I have a legitimate question for you. I and I know you, you, you pay very close attention to these movies. And mm. I miss a lot of stuff. You see it. You're, you're great mm. at this. The thing that I'm confused about, the, the, Jason comes to the captain and he offers him this deal that says, hey, uh, if you will stand up for our resort... Uh, it will be really helpful. You could pay off your boat very quickly. Now, it is my understanding that he only had a year and a half. Did I hear that correctly? A year and a half to pay off his boat. He never says how long he has to pay off his boat. I thought he said, I'll be done with the boat in a yeah, year and a half. I don't know. I don't think he said. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could take that to the tape. I would love to go back. I know he's like when Jason confronts him on it, he says, no, not yet. It's not paid off. I don't remember a year and a half, but I could have been typing something else. I thought, I thought he said a year and a half. If it is indeed a year and a half, he has no g- skin in the fight right to go ahead and stand no, up for the, the fight resort. that's no, what you said the fight for that's the right. resort yes right mm. because yes. if the resort's going to take at least a year and a half to build and i will say this is all i'm gonna i have i've ne- i've i have it's i'd be hard pressed to not have a lot of skin in the fight yeah for and anything I, after any talking reason. through this movie you guys couldn't have liked this movie right no <laughs> okay i'm ready for christmas <laughs> yeah Guys, bring on the Christmas and movies. Not I flip flop. It's a little bit of a turd out there. It's not great. But I <laughs> love doing it, this it, with you. I love doing this with you guys. I love no, I no. Love, no. I'm happy that people know about Tony. Tony. <laughs> and I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. blessed. Hashtag blessed. Uh, don't forget to leave us a review. Don't forget mm. to find us on the socials. Don't forget to just start 
Looking up domains, we'll probably have them. Um, and join. You the went domains. Domains. Look up that and, domain. Uh, Patreon.com slash check the homework is the best place to go. Speaking if you, of which, we had an interview just recently, uh, last uh, last week or whatever, with Hans Wasserberger, Wasserberger. who yeah. wrote some homework movies, and it was a blast of a conversation. And it's the only place you're going to be able to listen to it is on the Patreon. So Patreon.com slash check the homework. Become a patron today, guys. Mm-hmm. Anything else? The patron. Patron of the week. Patron of the week. Boom, boom. Patron, patron of, of the week. week. Bum, bum. Where it's you find them? Where you, you see them? them? Patron of the week. Bum, bum, bum. Who do we got? Oh, who do we have? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah. We have Linda Albanetti. Linda Albanetti. Oh, now, goodness. look, we were laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were on a plane yeah. to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yep. yep. And... Linda's name came up. Yep. yep. And you tell the story better. Okay. And it's roller it's the rollerblade one now. <laughs> I don't no, there's a bunch I, of good ones. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so the stewardess yeah, right? flight attendant flight is attendant. in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> the flight but attendant men would be walks thrilled. up and says Hi, um, who's, uh, who's <laughs> And we said, Who lost their rollerblades on the plane? In the plane. And then and then up. the stewardess goes. I said, for Linda Albanetti. Linda Albanetti, please claim your order. And we said, Linda? And Linda said, those are mine. Linda somersaulted her way it was all the, the way to the wildest It was wild. crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. And we said, whoa, Linda, keep going. So she's somersaulting, somersaulting, somersaulting. <laughs> all of a sudden, a baby accidentally falls into the the row the the aisle she's some result she can't see the baby panda yep, you got it, it. Me. go I, ahead i jumped in front jumps in front of the baby but what what he really does is he kind of like turtles over the baby yep. like turtles a shot over the baby yep. and so uh linda bumps into panda and at yep. first she's like who what are you doing and then she sees the baby and she says that's what life's about and then i looked at her and i said as a way of saying thank you, why don't you join our Patreon account? And she did. And she did. She gave us money for for saving babies. And yep. I believe she still has her rollerblades today. She still does. to this day. She likes to go rollerblading with the Mighty Ducks. That's she what I've has heard. the blades. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being a part of our friendships. And <laughs> we'd be the first to tell you, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.